All right, it has been a hot minute since I've done a checkers review. I have two items. Uh, we might do a checkers day, checkers slash rallies, checkers for me. Two products in the bag, one video today. You saw the thumbnail. Let's go. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive bistro. Every time I hear the word bistro, I think of Jack's Bistro. Shout out Three's Company. Shout out Jack Tripper. And uh, that's where we're starting this video off with because uh, checkers, this does not seem that big. Does not seem that big. $5.99 in this package right there has the new Bistro Buford Burger. We're going to check it out. Let's go. All right, so uh, this is what we're dealing with. So what do we have? Two hand-seasoned all-beef patties, two slices of bacon, Swiss cheese. I guess there's a little bistro in that. Uh, some crispy Parmesan-dusted onions. Okay, crispy onions. And then a Dijon mayo. Could you pass the Dijon? Could you pass the uh, Grey Poupon? I guess that's uh, what also makes it bistro. Uh, but here we go. It's a bakery-style bun, and uh, that's what we're dealing with. The sun is out and uh, the fun is out. So there you go. Check that out. We're going to get into this. Let's go. Ooh. All right. So I popped the top right there. Let me get you a look at the crisscross bacon. You can see the Parmesan uh, dusting right there. And uh, let's put this down right over here. And let me get you a look at the uh, top of this burger. There you go. This is the Bistro Buford Let's take a bite. Whew, we are gonna take a bite. This is a really greasy burger. It smells good. I smell that Dijon. Let me give you a look uh, upside down. The more I turn it inside out and round and round. Shout out Diana Ross. Let's go Bistro. Shout out Jack Tripper. And if you get that shout out, then uh, you're a number one in my book. <laughs> I, don't, I could probably live to be a hundred and never say that line ever again. But you get where I'm going with that. Here we go. Uh, Bistro Burger. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right, so listen. After the first bite, I love sauces. I'm a sauce guy, and that Dijon mayo is kind of missing the mark a little bit. I like a good Dijon mustard. I like where it kind of pairs with everything. It almost seems, I don't even know if watery is the word because I'm not really getting a texture, uh, but I'm not really getting hit with that Dijon. Uh, everything else is pretty good. That is a well-cooked uh, burger patty. Actually, two burger patties, not dry. A lot of bacon. Got some crunch and flavor from that Parmesan dusted onions right there. And uh, the bun is fresh. So overall, $5.99, not a bad burger. Uh, I just like sauce. I love sauce. I just love when sauce brings a, a burger or a sandwich together. Uh, and that, after the first bite, fell a little bit short. Uh, let's take a second bite. Uh, almost glossed over the fact that I like that they have uh, Swiss cheese on the top and Swiss cheese in between. So uh, I did actually get the flavor of the cheese in that. So overall, decent, very greasy very greasy it is what it is you know uh if you're going to checkers you know what you're dealing with uh second bite yeah the sauce is throwing me off the sauce is throwing me off yeah that rhymes but um hmm all right, so it's simple. Um, I like everything going on here except the sauce. I wanted more Dijon. I wanted more mustard. But I guess when you're calling it a Dijon uh, mayo, you're going to get the mayo mixed in with the Dijon. Why not just uh, knock it out with a little Bistro Dijon uh, and call it a day? Uh, these people, did they walk by already? I think they walked by already. Uh, they agree with me. Let me give you one more look. We're going to give it a rating. Overall, I enjoyed it. I liked uh, the flavor. It's just that sauce is definitely throwing me off and uh, we'll give it a rating. That's all I can say. Um, wow. Yeah, that has potential to be a little bit higher in my rating scale. Uh, but let's see. On a scale of 1 to 100, with 1 meaning 
don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of... I'm going to give the Bistro Buford Burger from uh, Checkers a rating of... Ooh, it's like a um, 81. I'm going to give it an 81 potential to be upper 80s, if that gives you an idea. Uh, maybe order this without that sauce. I'm just saying, that's just for me. Uh, add a little uh, bit of something else at home uh, to kind of pick it up a notch. Uh, everything else okay, just accept that every time I eat checkers, just like a just like a greasy feeling, but uh, yeah, sometimes, you know, the greasier burger, the better. Uh, this wasn't like overflowing with grease. It wasn't like dripping with grease. It's just uh, that checkers feel. So uh, yeah, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, I have another item from uh, Checkers. It's in the bag. Uh, you might see that later today. You might see that tomorrow. Uh, you might never see it. No, you're going to see it. Uh, but thank you for joining me on this review. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this burger. Is it something you're going to try? Uh, but that's it. We'll see you soon with some more reviews. Bye.